way, we do not want our Gold River Western Shore School to be closed. We want it kept open so our children to continue to be educated there. I attended this school as many as you people have also. I would like to have my grandchildren have the same opportunities to attend the school as well. There are many benefits to a small school, some being usually they have smaller classes and lower teacher-student ratio, which allows for more focus on our children and their education. Small schools provide a personalized learning environment where every student and teacher knows each other by their first names. They promote a sense of belonging that makes it more difficult for students to go unnoticed and slip through the cracks. It allows for more student participation, sports teams, everyone gets to be on the team. There are only enough students to make a team, so no one has to sit there and look. It leads to better learning opportunities and more class participation. Parents and community members are more engaged in our student learnings. Our school is based is used for after school activities and programs. There are lots of great volunteers at our school and they will continue to volunteer. Will they continue to volunteer with travel time increases? The be longer bus drives for our students, this will be difficult for the younger students to handle. I just want to make mention, <coughs> excuse me, our municipality gives social reads the school board over four million dollars each year to help maintain and run our schools. We have one of the best playgrounds in all the schools that are in the South Shore Region School Board system. There was much community support to make this possible by raising funds and applying for grants. It is also a wheelchair accessible. A lot of money has uh, was spent on our school for the last few years, probably a quarter of a million dollars. I was told that there was a leak in the back of the school by Mr. Press. Mm -hmm. Mr. Press, that in the back corner of the school facing Gold River, there was a leak there, and he said it would cost probably forty to fifty thousand dollars to fix. I find that hard to believe. Other than that, our school is in good physical condition, and uh, I'd just like to end this here to ask Mr. Bob Eisner to come up to uh, speak about this matter at the school. I guess uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Wellesley Eisner, known as Bob it's around here. I spent 29 years with the Social Regional School Board, managing everything from maintenance to capital construction to energy conservation. Recently retired, a little over a year ago. And uh, it wasn't until today, really, that I looked at this, uh, this report. And I was asked to, to speak maybe on the condition of the school and some of the numbers that were put forth on this report. Uh, it's stated here $1.576 million in, in capital costs over the next number of years. I crunch the numbers down, I come up with $413,000. So, <laughs> Excuse me, it came from the staff, so it came from Steve Press and his group. So I would group? say, mm -hmm. if you have any, uh, we're not the experts, so we rely yep. on no, I understand the information. So, so I just want to know where they're going. Yeah, things there, I'd say certainly mm -hmm. raise them and then put them in the committee report. The, the, yeah. Yeah. the numbers are greatly inflated, and I'll stand by that for pricing jobs for the last 20, 25 years in relation to schools and, and construction. So I, I suggest the committee uh, really question those numbers. And if uh, they want, I'll give you my numbers and I can up with uh, on, on that. Um, a few years ago, uh, the Department of Education was given all kinds of money for energy conservation and stuff, and I applied for some money, and I got $150,000 for Gold River School, to which we put solar, domestic hot water in, added insulation to the outside of the building, new siding, there was new windows put in before that. Um, Worked with the province and conserve Nova Scotia at the time to upgrade all the lighting, the TA. The building structurally and physically is, is as good as any building in the social region, if not better than, than most. Uh, you question some of this stuff. Uh, again, um, it's my expertise in, in the 
on the construction end of it that, uh, you know, they talk about a sprinkler system. And I said, a sprinkler system is nice, but does Gold River need a sprinkler system? I don't think so. I can tell you that CAMS, New Ross, Germany High School, which are some fairly big schools, they don't have sprinkler systems. You know, there's not a school of Gold River size and so short that has a sprinkler system. It was put in at the day, I suppose, because... You know, Before you look at 350,000 or whatever it is, the number there, to uh, to do that, uh, even that number is just greatly in place. Uh, you know, they specify a roof. Uh, the roof of this building was completely replaced in the last 20 years. Uh, the numbers they're putting forth there works out to 31 dollars a square foot. Uh, I don't know where they come up with that. Right? Uh, a roof today, a two-ply modified roof, is running about 14 dollars a square foot. So, you know, so I, I really question that, and uh, and again, I feel confident. <laughs> you know, it, it just took me a couple hours to go through that to, to come up with a number I think more realistic for the long term. And again, with the elevator thing, uh, access to the school is fully accessible. We renovate the school a number of years ago with washrooms, all accessible. And if there's nothing on the second floor pertaining to staff or students. Uh, you could actually close probably the second floor off.